everybody, it's Emily, and I have a few tips for you guys on how to make your notes more colorful, organized, and elegant. So they may already be that way, but these are just what this is just what works for me, and it kind of helps me study more for my tests that are coming up. So feel free to check them out. Okay, so these are my science notes. Um, as you can see, I use different highlighters, and I also use different fonts to kind of categorize the different topics and subjects. So like, for example, I used the yellow highlighter to highlight important words or phrases that I thought were important. Um, I used the pink to like do topics and the purple to kind of hi highlight the beginning of a new subject, I guess you could say. So these are like a few things. You could do like tall letters as I did for some of the titles. You could do cursive letters, which I don't have any shown here but you definitely could do that. You could also do small letters, which is kind of what it's mainly, but I mean like, you can do it however you'd like to. And of course, you could just do random letters in random spots, and I wouldn't really recommend this for your actual notes, but I think it's a great way to decorate the title. <laughs> but it might be a little bit tricky to read if you do that. And of course, you can obviously make your own fonts if you like, or you could just stick to what you're used to. Either one's fine. So I use these friction pen highlighters, which are also erasable, which is why I really enjoy them. I also use this um, Sharpie pen of 0.5, and this is the one I used for these notes. It's really has a fine point, and I think it just works perfectly. But if you are not confident on using a permanent pen, you can obviously, of course, try out this friction erasable pen, which works pretty good too, and it's erasable. So I feel like that's also a bonus. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope this really helped.